Hi, Brent. Pascal. Um, okay, so your question was basically the eight wines. Was Brent specifically asked about the lower wines first? Or Bynes? Well, yeah, Bynes wines kind of the same thing. So, um, okay, so the, the strict answer to your question is going to be kind of boring, but it's the answer. Okay, so uh, long point, right? So against this, and it doesn't, this does not matter what he's in, okay? This is really about me defining my bind positions. So from here, I can be either in ox or, uh, sorry, <laughs> plow or ox, right? So um, so when you take that into account, let's look at the ox ones first. There's four of them, and it's going to be basically here. Uh, sorry, no, so either this or this, okay, based on this side of the plate versus this or this, okay? And I, I'm moving my feet. I shouldn't. It should just be pretty much, you know, this, this has nothing to do with the feet, but the feet should do the appropriate thing for the appropriate bond. Okay, so those are the four on top. On the bottom, here versus here, here versus here. Okay, so those are the eight. All right, so great. So you know what the, the eight ones are? Who cares, right? I mean, there are plenty of times when we can use any of these things and actually it'll it'll be the wrong thing. It'll actually get you into trouble. So really the, the next add-on question is how do you use them? And then that gets that gets into winding and binding and there's what, no way I'm going to talk about all this stuff in three minutes. So uh, what I'd like to do is give two case studies, um, places where you know this kind of stuff is useful, uh, and you can see like how these transitions happen. So for instance, you know, we do this one a lot where we're trying to get that face, and one thing he does actually is to actually wind up counter with the same wind, and then he's actually going to wind and try and get me over on this side. Right, so he can do this interior kind of business. So, <clears throat> so a lot of really neat, funky stuff is doing these transitions from one guard to another, one wine to the other, in a very smooth and subtle way. So, for instance, as I do this, he does this tries to get it. I step. Notice I have to do footwork with this, but I go from basically one more time. I go from here to here, and as I do it now, I'm on the inside again covering the line, and as he tries to scoop past, there's a good chance he'll get him on the way. Okay, so that's that's one example. Uh, another example, um, back from the same position. By, this, by the way, this position is one of the uh, positions from Codex Wallerstein. Uh, look at plate number 12. There's a whole class of stuff that uh, that they describe from here. So another thing he can do is actually back out and try and put me here. Bam, right? So as he does that, here's a good chance to, to actually use plow. So from here, if if I stick, I can do this. I'm going to plow and get here. Okay, so those are two examples. Oxen plow.